this video, I will show you how to insert your SIM cards and memory cards in your Samsung Galaxy A35 as well as A55. So your SIM card tray is located at the top of the phone here and you got a tiny hole here. And in the box you will find basically a SIM card ejector tool which we need to simply insert in this hole and push with quite high force basically till it pops out. If for some reason you don't have this tool or you have lost it, then we can also use alternatively a simple sewing needle, like a fine, like this one. So we can insert in this hole basically, and where we can't, won't be able to push it in, we have to basically uh, take our phone and put it against a table like this, so the needle stays here, and simply push the phone inside so it pops out. Then we can simply remove this thing, it's kind of fiddly and a bit hard. So this is what the SIM card tray looks like basically. On one side we can insert one SIM card and on the other side we can also insert second SIM card or also a micro SD card. So uh, this uh, phone uses a nano SIM card, so if you got this big SIM card you have to basically uh, pop out this small one. Then take this basically and see the a tiny drawing on this tray here and basically need to take your SIM card and make sure this cutout is on this side as well and you have to simply place it inside like this till it's completely flush. So to remove it, it's very simple obviously. On the other side, again, look at the drawing, it's a bit different on this side. So again, arrange it correct position and insert till it's flush. Also obviously in this same slot we can insert this uh, memory card as well. Okay, then and you can simply see how it was with the hole here and simply slide it back. So make sure it's uh, flush, otherwise the phone isn't waterproof. And it will automatically bring us to the SIM manager. So if it doesn't, uh, we can go to our settings here. Okay, sorry, go back. Okay, in the settings, I click connections basically. Okay, connections and SIM manager basically and we can basically manage and turn on or off these physical SIM cards here as well. You also see uh, an option here for eSIMs and you can install pretty much unlimited additional eSIMs. Uh, by the way, some in some countries uh, for this phone you do have this eSIM support or in some you, some you don't know. Again, I don't know why Samsung made it like this. So for some phones you might not see this eSIM. So, Kind of weird, but anyway, this is how I do it on these phones. If this was helpful, make sure to hit the like button. See you.